Augmented reality is entering operating theatres across Europe and will soon help save many lives. At the University of Pisa, researchers are developing a surgical navigator that will guide doctors during delicate procedures. It will also provide crucial data in real time. But how exactly does this technology work? The future of medicine is becoming more and more high-tech. Augmented reality devices are pushing forward the frontiers of surgery. Researchers are now developing a device that could provide crucial assistance during delicate operations such as maxillofacial surgery. Noi eseguiamo molto spesso il riposizionamento di segmenti scheletrici. During surgery, we often have to reposition parts of the skull to fix malformations for instance. Per curare ad esempio una malformazione. Quindi poter visualizzare sul paziente esattamente le indicazioni. By mapping visual indicators on the patient, it guarantees symmetry. Pezzo a un'altra posizione. This is an invaluable aid. This European-funded project is a hybrid of two existing AR headsets. The device also provides important information to increase accuracy and reduce time spent looking away from the operation. Their main feature is to provide crucial information directly in front of a physician's eyes. It takes accurate virtual information and overlays it on the surgical area to guarantee making incisions with extreme precision. It can also provide an enlarged view. The system captures what the surgeon sees from a head-mounted camera. It then merges the patient's medical information over reality. Every time we want Every time we want to align a real scene with a virtual one, we need a system of video cameras to trace the surroundings. We are then better equipped to reconstruct that virtual scene, so that it's consistent with the way our eyes perceive it. This technology is expected to improve accuracy and reduce surgery times by at least 11%. The transfer of surgical knowledge to technology is crucial in making the system work. My job is to build a bridge between surgery and the device interface. I work on all the steps to make sure the system works, right up to how and when the device will operate during surgery. The device will go through three clinical trials in Italy and Germany by late 2019. It's expected to be widely available by 2022.